tell you this town wants dragging into the 21st century. It really does. I'm just, oh, it's just not big enough for the amount of people that are here. The need to shut the town centre down. And just, there's plenty of land outside of the bloody town. They all seem bloody commerce parks. This is ridiculous. I tell you, I've just, I've had it today. I just, I've just been to the bloody bank. The queue was about 20 people long. One person serving. I mean, come on. So then I had to go to the pastry shop, then go back and get the car, then go around to Tesco's, then go to another pastry shop, then go back into Tesco's and do a bit of shopping in there, which was pretty packed. I'm supposed to be doing some stuff outside today, but it's been bloody raining. The wind keeps getting up, actually. Uh, we've been given a severe weather, weather warning in this area. High winds for the next couple of days. But, uh, I'll tell you what really show, shows up in this town. I've got, it shows it up. I've got, I've got one mobile phone shop. There used to be two or three. One mobile phone shop in this town. And I mean yeah, all the other ones sell like the cheap accessories cases and cables and just stuff like that. But there's one actual mobile phone shop that sells phones and contracts, right? And obviously OEM accessories. And I remember when I first got my iPhone 5 and I went in there. What it was, I'd only just got it, and of course, you know what it's like when you get a brand new device, you want a case straight away, don't you? You want, you want a protector or something. So, I went in there and I said, uh, I'm after a case for my iPhone 5. He said, oh, I'm sorry, we don't have it here. And he said, I get this, this, this is an iPhone, a, a, a phone sales room. And he says, uh, Have you got an iPhone 5? Now, it'd been out about three weeks, three, four weeks, I think, when I went. You know, I had to wait till the contract was up. Uh, this time around, the contract's up now, so you know, I'm alright. But he um, uh, said, uh, he said, yeah, have you got an iPhone? I says, yeah. He says, uh, oh, can I have a look? I've never seen one. My jaw must have hit the floor. A phone salesman who was hasn't even handled an iPhone before. So, you know, is it the fault of the shop that they don't get them in? You know, at least have a display model in? Or is it the fault of the, the bloody town still living in the dark ages? You know, nobody's been in and asked for one on contract. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. A lot of the trouble is that, actually, that yeah, a lot of people do have the consumer phones around here. It's just that they... Uh, they go shopping in the city for anything, or they go online. And this, you know, this town is just, it's so behind. It's still living with this one main high street, and that's pretty much it. And, you know, I mean, it's like they've got an old rack camp, uh, the hangers and everything is, is standing. It stands on the outskirts of the town, at Leckham, uh, not Leckham Field, the uh, Alamein Barracks. And, it's, there's so much land there, and uh, they said, well, we've got to find the original family that it was sequestered from, uh, the war effort, and uh, make sure it goes back to the family. And this was months ago, so I don't know whether they've actually found them or not. I don't think so. But the actual hangars have uh, been used for a static uh, module builders, modular UK, I think they're called. Build like these static homes and offices and things. They've got one of the hangars there. And I just think, well, you know, why didn't they get this land turned over? And, you know, we've got a, an industrial site next to it. It's not a very big one, but an industrial site, because that's where I work. Um, and you just think, well, why didn't they turn part of it over to like a, a commercial park or whatever, you know? Or, you know, we could have had Comet and all that stuff on there. I mean, we used to 
have a we used to have a comet in the town, we used to have uh, curries in the town. Curries of course have just gone not long ago. And we just we've got these minor little cellars now where you can actually go and buy a TV set in the town or something like that. I'm failing that, you've got to go to Tesco's. And it's just it frustrates me that certain parts of the country can still be so far behind the rest. You know, it's like it's like I'm going to need my. It's like I, my my uh, iPhone five. It's uh, eligible for um, the battery upgrade. You know, it fits in in the criteria. It has been having serious problems with the battery. So you know I'm going to uh, got to get that done. But that means I've got to travel between 60 and 80 miles, and my choice is Leeds or Sheffield. So. Obviously, uh, is it, it's the 29th today, isn't it? So today is when they start rolling the program out in the UK. You know, and I've got to do that travel. I've got to book myself an appointment, do that travel, and get the battery swapped. So, you know, and it's just like we've got the city of Hull just down the road. Now they've got a third party. Uh, what do you call them? They've got a registered uh, seller and repairer down there. Oh, don't get me wrong, lovely shop. Um, so I don't know whether they can do it, but why hasn't Hull got an Apple store? It's a big enough city. Frustrating, absolutely frustrating. Anyway, rant over. We'll get on with the rest of the day. Getting a bit late now, isn't it? Quarter ten. Uh, yeah, I've been uh, sort of busy today, but not, if you know what I mean. Um, been messing around with the the back the you know the the rear facing camera on this Lumia here and uh what I've done actually I've taken you know, I mean you know it's it's not a legit thing it's like uh, one of those you know those uh, magnetic um, lenses that you get for the iPhone and uh, what it is I had some of them kicking around in the drawer and uh, the sticky's gone off all the rings so well, it sellotaped one of the rings to the back of this, just with a little bit of tape at each side, and stuck the macro lens on. And it's, uh, I've been putting some stuff up on Instagram, some of you will have seen them. And uh, I sort of, they're all right. You know, I, I guess, I mean, you know, the length, the, you know, the focal length of the lens might not be perfect for this phone compared to the iPhone. I don't know, you know, you know, I mean, I don't know enough about that side of it. So, uh, yeah, just been sort of playing around to see how it comes out. And they're not bad, actually. I um, just wonder if there's anything. Hang on. Uh, right, hang on. I'll tell you what. You see that? That Sabatia uh, label on there. What I'll do is I'll uh, put a bit of camera video footage in now. Oh, no, you can't do it on this one, can you? Oh, no, I've zoomed in. No, I know on the. I'm not sure. I know on the 1520 I could. You could uh, turn around during recording. Right, let me just uh, stop it and stop it and turn it around. I'll show you that on the video. So you've sort of got to play around with the, the distance from it. And of course, because you've got to get fairly close, it uh, blocks out the light. But you can see how. You know, I mean the. The black bits there is the uh, the light shining between the uh, the handles and knives. But if I show, hang on, I'll show you this bit of paper. Uh, what's that? Oh. Yeah, this is like part of a shopping list. So gives you an idea of what it does, you know. And that's just sort of like some actually fairly small writing, actually smaller than mine is. So obviously, yeah, you know, you've got to get a fair bit closer, so you're blocking out a lot of the light, so you've got plenty of light coming in from the sides to sort of like pick up the pictures. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's not bad. So, uh, you know, and it, it's fun to play around with, you know, try and get some uh, some macro shots. Um, it, it's it's obviously, it's, it's only like the very centre of the picture that's coming out in focus. The rest of it, it starts to blur out a bit, you know, it's a... Uh, it's almost 
got like a fisheye blur effect, I suppose. Think of a better way of putting it. But yeah, other than that, I'm getting on quite well with this camera. Battery life on it, it's uh, oh, it's probably it can be almost as bad as the iPhone five. I mean, my iPhone five actually, um, as I said earlier, I think uh, I can get a new battery fitted to it because um, what's been happening is it'll get down to like it'll say it's, it's like between 30 and 40 percent and all of a sudden I'll say start the camera and like that it just turns off you know I'm not even getting a full day out of it nowhere near um, and if I get an early start and you know start using it a lot then half a day so and this can be nearly as bad when you're caning that camera because uh, this camera it's obviously got like because it's got like a mechanical iris and stuff like that so you know the uh the battery power gets sucked up by that quite a bit so um <clears throat> but otherwise no it's, it's all right i mean it's i think i felt better with the 1520 to be honest even though it was bigger uh and i I'm not sure why. Uh, it seems a little bit quicker than this as well. Uh, something really hammers the processor on this. I mean, somebody uh, posted on one of my video one of my videos actually about uh, about making sure the background apps were all closed and that, which there were. You know, I, I do tend to shut them down on it. It's quite easy to do. You know, you, you just press and hold the back button, and it does something similar to iOS where it just shrinks them all down, and then you just you just slide them down or tap the cross, and that's it. It closes them. Um, but uh, yeah, it's the camera is the main focus on this. But to get really good crisp pictures, I think you need a f fairly good understanding of sort of photography and that. Um, you would have to play with the settings a lot more on it to to get you know top notch images. But um, just when you leave it all in auto mode, and like, oh, well, it's just just fine, you know. It's just you're getting a slightly better picture than you would from anything else, you know. I mean, it's I don't know if it's the most many pixels on the market. Is it for any built into a phone? I can't remember now. Uh, but anyway, I mean, that's pretty much all I've got to say, guys. Uh, sorry about the rant earlier in the car, but uh, you know what it's like sometimes. We all have those days. So anyway, I'm making a drink now and I'm going to head off to bed, I think. I'll watch a bit of YouTube in bed and then call it another day gone. So, uh, take care of yourselves and I'll catch you all later. See ya.